Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says find the equation of the circle passing through the points 2 3 and minus 1 1 and whose center is on the line x minus 3 y minus 11 equal to 0. So let us start with the solution to the question. First of all we know that equation of a circle with center at some point h k and radius r is given by x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square now it's given to us in the question that circle is passing through the point 2 3 So since circle passes through the point 2 3 so we simply put x and y as 2 and 3 in this equation a so putting x y as 2 3 in equation a we get 2 minus h the whole square plus 3 minus k the whole square is equal to r square or 4 plus h square minus 4h plus 9 plus k square minus 6k is equal to r square or we can write it as h square plus k square minus 4h minus 6k plus 9 plus 4 is 13 so plus 13 equals to r square and we call this equation 1 now it's given to us in the question that the circle also passes through the point minus 1 and 1 so putting x y as minus 1 1 in equation a we get Minus one minus h the whole square plus one minus k the whole square equals to r square or one plus h square plus two h plus one plus k square minus two k is equal to r square or h square plus k square plus two h minus two k. Plus two is equal to r square, and we call this equation two. Now, subtracting equation two from equation one, we get h square plus k square minus four h minus six k plus thirteen minus h square plus k square. Plus two h minus two k plus two equals to r square minus r square. We have minus six h because minus four h minus two h becomes minus six h. Now minus six k plus two k becomes minus four k. H square gets cancelled with minus H square. K square gets cancelled with minus K square. We have 13 minus 2 is 11 equals to R square gets cancelled with minus R square equals to zero. We call this equation three. Now it's given to us in the question that the center H K lies on x minus 3 y minus 11 equal to zero. So we simply put the values of x and y as h and k, and we get h minus 3k minus 11 equal to zero. Now multiplying this equation by minus 6, we have minus 6h minus 18k plus 66 equal to zero. This becomes equation four. Now what we do is we subtract. Equation four from equation three, 
on doing this we get minus 6h minus 4k plus 11 minus minus 6h minus 18k plus 66 equals to 0. Now minus 6h with plus 6h because minus of minus 6h is plus 6h. First of all let us open this entire bracket. We have minus 6h minus 4k plus 11 minus minus plus 6h minus minus plus 18k minus plus minus 66 equals to 0. Now this implies that here we see these two get cancelled. Now minus 4k plus 18k gives us here we see that this is plus 18k because minus 3k multiplied by minus 6 gives us plus 18k. Here also this is plus 18k. Now when this plus sign comes with negative sign this becomes minus 18k. So this is minus 18k. Now minus 18k with minus 4k becomes minus 22k. 66 minus 11 gives us 55. So minus 66 plus 11 gives us minus 55 equal to 0. This implies minus 22k is equal to 55. This implies k is equal to minus 55 by 22 because we have taken minus 22 in the denominator here and this gives us minus 2.5. So k is equal to minus 2.5. Now putting k equal minus 2.5 in equation 4 we get minus 6h plus 18 into minus 2.5 plus 66 equals to 0 or minus 6h is equal to minus 21. This happens because 18 into minus 2.5 is minus 45. Now when this goes to the right hand side this becomes minus 66 plus 45 and that is equal to minus 21. So we can say that h is equal to minus 21 by minus 6 because we have taken minus 6 to the denominator here. Minus sign gets cancelled with minus sign. We have 21 by 6 that is equal to 3.5. Now putting the point hk equal to 3.5 minus 2.5 in 2 minus h the whole square plus 3 minus k the whole square equals to r square. We can find out the value of r. This becomes 2 minus 3.5 the whole square plus 3 minus minus 2.5 the whole square equals to r square. This implies r square is equal to now 2 minus 3.5 is minus 1.5 and square of minus 1.5 is 2.25 plus 3 minus of minus 2.5 is 3 plus 2.5 that is 5.5 and square of 5.5 is 30.25 and that is equal to 32.5. Now putting hk equal to 3.5 minus 2.5 and r square equal to 32.5 in equation a we get x minus 3.5 the whole square plus y minus of minus 2.5 the whole square is equal to 32.5 because equation A was x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square. 
H in this case is 3.5, K in this case is minus 2.5 and R square is 32.5. Let us simplify this. We get X square plus 12.25 minus 7X plus Y square plus 6.25 plus 5y because we see that y minus of minus 2.5 becomes y plus 2.5 the whole square and we simply put in the formula here minus 32.5 is equal to 0 or x square plus y square minus 7x plus 5y now 12.25 plus 6.25 minus 32.5 becomes minus 14 equal to 0. So we see that our answer to this question is that the equation of circle passing through the given points and whose center is on the line x minus 3y minus 11 equal to 0 is x square plus y square minus 7x plus 5y minus 14 equal to 0. So this is our answer to the question. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.